Okay guys, welcome back to Old Time Garage. We've seen in the last video we're working on uh, Colby's truck, his 69 Chevy pickup. We had the box all taken apart on it. As you can see, we're taking the front end off it now. And uh, if Colby's out there watching, <laughs> you've got yourself an okay little truck, but there's a lot of hidden things that you just don't think about looking at. Uh, for instance, when we went to take the inner fenders apart from the outer fenders, which are over there, this is the kind of bowl shape you run into. <clears throat> I think what happened was actually on this truck, was you can tell if you look at it carefully, which you'll never see in this video, so there's no point showing you. Somebody at home, somebody had this truck and they took it all apart and they were rebuilding it themselves at home. Just a backyard guy having some fun. Nothing wrong with that. Big thumbs up to the guy out there that did it. He was having fun, he was trying. But you would be looking at it carefully. The body works not the greatest, it's quite wavy. Um, you can tell it was a home paint job in a backyard. Nothing wrong with that either. We all gotta start somewhere. But this is the real clue. You get the bolts, you get the bolts here from the, uh, oh fuck, what did I do with it now? Oh, I'll find it here somewhere. You get bolts on, these are the bolts, these are the bolts here that are supposed to be in the fenders. They're a factory, almost like a sheet metal bolt that hold all the fenders together. But as we're going through this thing, whoops, where did I put it? Let me dig around here for a second. As we're going through this truck, then you get bolts like this. These are just an old stove bolt. And what he's done is he shoved it up to the hole and he's put, he's mounted the inner fender to the outer fender with some of these. And of course, they were new at the time when he was doing it, so the nut went on easy. But now the truck's been together for so many years, you go to take it apart, the fucking thing here is just spinning like mad. Unless you're gonna get in there vice grips and hold it, you know, you're just, you're there all day long. You know, and, and here's another prime example. If you see down in here, the rad support is rotten. The rad support's rotten there. Well, normally you'd put a piece of metal on the rad support and fix that. But this guy decided he would do this instead. He took the inner fender, which is rotten, and he pop riveted, bent a piece of metal and pop riveted on here to cover up the hole in the rad support. You know, so I mean, it's just, you know, kind of, kind of backyard stuff going on here. Um, you saw the box yesterday, the box sides, the box was all wavy inside, so all they did was grab sheet metal and pop rivet sheet metal on the inside, excuse me, oh, all they did was pop sheet metal on the inside of the box to cover up all the waves because it would stop, it would save them from doing the body work. So, um, you know, I mean, I can't, I can't, I don't want to knock the guy, whoever it was, Colby bought the truck off. I mean, other than that, the truck itself is pretty solid. I mean, it's not all rusted out where they normally are down in here. It seems, it seems pretty good. Uh, it, it, it runs decent. Um, but you know, I mean, obviously you can tell it was a backyard guy farting around and uh, yeah, it is what it is, right? But it just goes to show people out there when people call me up and say, hey, can you give me a price on how much this is going to cost? How do you give a quote? Because uh, you just can't because you don't know what kind of shit is hidden until you start taking it apart and you're getting into it. You know what I'm saying? So um, that's just the stuff you find on these cars. Now as for Dan's 37, I'm working away here. You can see I, I started making some patches to go in here and I got this this patch here all nicely made that goes up in here and uh, now Dan now Dan Dan priced out these wheel wells and they want like five hundred dollars for each of these wheel wells now Dan said to me he said Rick I don't want to get too carried away in there because he's gonna run the car full fender so he's like can we just cut out the rust that's there and, and clean up the mess that's there and just put some patches in butt weld them in do a little bit of body work but he's gonna text he wants me to texture spray in there anyway so there was no point replacing the whole wheel well. I mean, maybe if you're doing like a, uh, you know, a white glove pristine build or something like that, you'd cut them out and spend the 500 bucks. But in Dan's budget, it doesn't allow for that. So we fixed it properly. We cut the rust out. We put new metal in. We're going to do a little body work. It'll be absolutely perfect. There'll be nothing wrong with it. And the fender covers it just like Dan said. So it's all good. Because this is what, this is what the original, this is what it did look like. You can see this side, if it shows up in the video, look at how this is just, this is metal that they, they took the old fender, smashed it in because it was rotten, and then they brazed different hunks of metal over top. You can see how thick it is here. Then they just covered it with tar, and that's what they did back in the day. So I mean, if you compare what I'm doing to what it's done now, I am 100% way better than what I've got. I mean, Dan's got brand new metal, it looks good, it's all gonna be good. So that's where Dan's car is leaving off right now. So let's take you guys outside, because we're gonna show you the bug is back. The 70 bug is back. Here's actually the hood. Here's the hood in the, in the, in the, uh, well that's the hood actually. What am I saying? That's the hood. And that'd be the chunk lid. I keep, for, I keep, I'm so used to thinking the hood's on the front of the car. But there you go. 
We did this in a beautiful base coat, clear coat. Um, Dr. Dave did a wonderful job on the bodywork, as usual. This was a car where they wanted it nice and straight. So this car was blocked, primed, and blocked again. So it, it, it turned out beautiful. So let's get you outside here. The sun's gone down. I should have done this video earlier. It would have showed the, uh, the shine, but there you go. There she is, people. You remember watching in the videos what she looked like. I mean, did that turn out beautiful or what? We painted every bit of it too. Painted all, <coughs> excuse me, painted all up inside here. You know, I mean, everything has been painted. You remember, if you watched back a couple videos back, I had texture sprayed in there. We painted over it, made it look really nice. It's, it's, be, it's, it's way better than it would have been from factory. And I mean, I don't know if you can see in the video, but this look, look at the, look at the shine here. Look at the reflection on that. Just unbelievable. So anyway, so what's going to happen now is the uh, the 70 bug. They've already picked up all the fenders and that. They're going to come and pick up the body tomorrow morning, and uh, they're probably going to have it for I would guess a month or two months or three months. I don't know. And when it's all done, it's all finished and it's assembled. They'll bring it back and we'll do a, we'll do a video on it and we'll show you it finished. So um, that's just the way it is. So you're going to have to remember this car. Because, you know, unlike, unlike TV shows, this is the real deal here. We're showing you. This is what it is. There's all different things all day long getting worked on in the shop. We don't focus on one project. We focus on many projects over all our videos as they come along. So that's it. So the bug is done. Don't know what else to tell you. Uh, Dave is still sick home with the flu. Got a temperature of 101. Uh, if you're out there watching Dave, you get yourself better, you stay home. He says he got it from me. He never got it from me. If you're watching Dave, you didn't get it from me. I had a cold. I never had the flu, okay? So you stay home in bed, Dr. Dave, pull your pud, do whatever it is that you're doing at home there, and I'll see you later. Okay, remember, it's always a good time at all time. We'll see you next time.